Hi there folks and welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. Today we've got a fly fishing vlog for you with a little bit of a difference. Any angler who's been on social media for the last 12 months, you can't fail but have noticed that little blue and white W that's everywhere trying to sell you stuff. I'm talking about Wish, the shopping app that seems to import stuff direct from the factory straight to your front door. I did a little bit of research on Wish and there's some absolute disasters. You have wrong stuff turning up, uh, not turning up at all, taking months and I'd written it off and written it off, but eventually my curiosity was spiked and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna go for it. About two months ago, I placed an order and this arrived. Now, in this box is a, apparently, uh, fully machined CNC aluminium large arbor uh, fly fishing reel with a proper drag system, fully sealed. I paid 17 pounds. Now, I'm a big believer in sometimes things can be too good to be true. And for me, £17 for a fly reel of those specifications, it just sounds too good to be true. Regardless, I took the plunge. I'm hoping it's the three, four sides that I ordered. And the plan is we're going to unbox this now and we're going to test it in the river behind us. First off, I need to crack this bad boy open. Go, I'm so excited about this. Bright sunshine out there and it is going to be hot. Right, so there is a box. It sounds like it's got a reel in it. And apparently it is the three, four size. Ah, this is exciting. It's not a brand I've ever heard of, go to or go true. Little instruction leaflet for changing it from right to left. Here we go. Is it just going to be a spool? Is it going to be? Oh no, I'm so excited. There it is. There is the go to 17 quid, three to four size CNC machined aluminium fly reel. <laughs> and straight off the bat, it looks quite nice, but let's have a closer look at this. Now the spakes on this reel, are pretty good and actually first impressions is it feels pretty solid i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit shocked about this it maybe doesn't feel quite as um bearing smooth as a as a mid-range branded reel like just giving a little spin there i can feel there's there's some scraping going on there's a little bit of roughness but geez it doesn't feel terrible that's for sure it's a little bit wider across the arbor than a lot of the three four reels that i've seen on the market from the brands which actually i really like it means there's gonna be a little bit more space on there you get looser coils I, I like that width this is a shock i'm really surprised at this but obviously we're not going to know more about the reel until we've started using it so my plan is i'm going to fish it in two ways this afternoon first off i'm going to rig it up with a new zealand indicator and a fly line then secondly once we've done that i want to switch over and we'll go for the french leader and that way that will give us some idea of how the reel deals with two different angling scenarios Obviously in the river I haven't got any giant trevally or Nile perch or golden dorado so I'm not going to have anything that's going to test the drag system hugely but for most UK fishing situations that isn't an issue. I want to find out does it hold together, are the screws alright, is the handle going to stay on and I think two or three hours fishing here gives a good idea of what this reel's about. So even before I started rig rigging the reel up properly, few differences. First off, the nut that holds the spool on would usually be captive, you wouldn't usually be able to take that off. The other thing we've noticed is that actually just inside here on the opposite on the drag plate there's a little bit of rust a little bit of um redness to it it's not a lot i don't think it's going to affect the reel in any way but again not something you'd expect from a reel that you've got out of the box from a shop so the goater uh, comes uh, ready to be fished with a right hand wind and i'm not i'm a left hand wind i'm pretty sure i haven't checked the instructions yet because i'm that kind of guy you blokes out there know what it's like we'll try it 50 times without the instructions first i'm pretty sure all i've got to do is unscrew that and in there's going to be a roller bearing I flip it over and that should be left arm wind. Or I could just break it here and then. We'll see. Yep, that's worked perfectly. Super simple. Little plus point there for the go to a 3 4. So the plan is to get that fly line and back in onto that reel. And it's a really fiddly process. Anyone who's done this has known before. And the only space really I've got here to do it is a muddy field. And I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to try and pay it out off the reel and float it down the river. What's the worst that can go wrong here? This might be the last time we ever see this fly line. Okay, so I've got to the bottom end of the back in there where it's arbor knotted onto this reel. So I need to cut this, keep hold of it, and then tie it to that reel pretty quickly before the whole fly line disappears. <laughs> Okay, so that's arbor knotted down nicely now. So all I've got to do is wind the whole lot back in and uh, hopefully it all fits. Righty, so that's the whole fly line on. And actually, 
there's still a little bit of space in there. That tells me that the Goto 3 to 4 is slightly bigger than the reel I usually use, my Sierra Brook 2 to 4 weight click, uh, probably due to the width across the arbor. I will say there, during winding in 40 yards of backing and 30 yards of fly line, the reel's ever so smooth. The finish is pretty good. It, it looks just the same as a reel you buy out of a shop, really. But the proof of the pudding is going to be in the use of it, so we'll get this rigged up now with that New Zealand indicator. Okay, in we get. The Goto reel stated weight is 4.4 ounces, and on this 8 foot 4 weight brook, in truth, it probably does feel a wee bit heavy. I've got very used to fishing these rods with reels without drag systems, so there might be a little bit to do with that. I think the plan is we're going to fish this area up here. We've got a lovely riffle up the, up the river here. We'll work it through, see if we can pick off some grayling. I've gone for that orange beaded fly that worked really well in the last vlog I did when I was fishing for grayling just with tungsten beads. We'll see if we can pick one off on this. Right, we'll start close. Just trip this indicator over the gravels next to us here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fish first cast. Let's try that one again. Well, one, there could be some more. Just searching the water close to me to start with. I don't want to get too carried away with big long casts. They could be fish at my feet. Right, let's try one up the inside here. I don't know how deep it is there. It's nice slack. Kind of place where you wouldn't expect to find lots of fish, but perhaps a big clever one. Just pull a little bit more line off. I will say, it's only a small thing, but even just stripping line off the, off the go-to reel, it's smooth. It's, it's smoother than I thought it was going to be. I must admit, it's, um, it, it really doesn't feel that much different to, to fishing a branded reel. Well, no, no great test of the... <laughs> Come back here. No great test of the drag system on this wish reel but we're off the mark little grayling they like that they like that bright orange bead at the moment come on behave I'm trying to help you out here there we go Okay, so slightly more natural fly, a little copper bead pheasant tail with a little bit of glister behind it. How far wrong can you go with the pheasant tail? We'll give this run another five or ten minutes. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more up there. Is pulling back a bit. What I'm going to do, I wouldn't usually do this, but I'm actually going to get this on the reel so we can test this, test this go to drag system out. Whoa, Ooh, it's coming towards me. If this is a grayling, it's grayling zilla, I can tell you that. Wow, that drag system's tight, it doesn't take a lot of adjustment to tighten that right up. Ah, I had a feeling that might be the case. It's um. It's a whacking grey out of season rainbow trout, which will, oh wow wow wow, whoa there he goes, which will really test the drag system. Jeez, what? I turned that up what four or five clicks and it pretty much locked up. So that's worth looking out for. Something I perhaps should have played with a bit more before I started fishing. Yeah, while it's clearly not the fish we're fishing for, actually this would be a good test of the good test of the drag system on this reel. Let's see if there's any stick in or any any oh come out of there any obvious issues. I have to say, other than user error, so far it's done pretty good. It's not slipped once. I mean, this fish is this fish is pulling back. Wow, wow, wow! There we go. Oh, big fish, big big fish. Come on. There goes the reel again. Right below us. I had a feeling it was going to go again. There he is. Ooh, it's going for the inside there. So I'm just going to kick the drag up a couple of clicks try and stop him from getting onto those near side reeds. No, he's still going for them. One thing I have noticed actually, and I hadn't noticed it until I started playing this fish, is that actually the handle on this reel is quite small. I mean, I've got little dainty girly piano player's fingers, but 
even my fingers, it, it feels a little bit, feels a little bit slender and a little bit short. Actually, I noticed then I made a couple of grabs at the handle and didn't actually catch hold of it. So if you've got really big fat fingers, this might not be the reel for you. Putting some heat on this fish now. Right, that's bad news. I'm hoping IB's got a running boots on because we could be heading downstream in a minute. <laughs> Come on, come to this inside. Wow, there he goes again. Yeah, yeah, we're going down there. We'll meet you guys down on the Trent. I don't really want to let him go out the pool, so I'm going to run around the other side of him. Try and play him that way. Again, great test of the reel. There we go. Score one for the 17 quid Rish fly reel. If that's not a test, I don't know what is. Whacking great, super strong rainbow trout. 17 pound Rish fly reel. So obviously we're not targeting rainbows. This isn't the idea. There we go. So we're getting back straight away. No fuss. Jeez, I'm impressed with that. As I say, other than very early in the fight when I felt like I'd got it cranked up too hard because I had. It really didn't do anything wrong then. It was smooth, it was responsive. Every single click, it feels like it's a slightly different tension. That's not bad at all, not bad at all. But what I want to do now is try it out on the French leader on a different rod, on a different setup. Let's see how it functions with modern infant styles. Okay, so all I've done, because there's a little bit of space left on the reel, all I've done is I've attached the French leader to the end of the fly line I was using just. We'll wind it down on there, as I say, loads of space. The indicator's on the end, so all I need to do is attach the rest of my French leader rig, and we'll get cracking and see if we can catch a few on the Frenchie. Back in the water, this time with the French leader. Now, in terms of a reel when you're using the French leader, what is it we're looking for? Well, for me, really, there's two things that I'm looking for here. First off, I wanted to balance that rod really well. Obviously, with this style of fishing, we've often got the rod held out at arm's length, and if the reel's too heavy or too light, it can make that process a lot harder. So I want this to balance in my fingers without me having to grip it too hard, in just the same way I wanted that when I was using the eight foot four weight. So this reel tops out at 4.4 ounces, about 125 grams, so by modern standards, no lightweight at all. But you can see there, I can hold that with an outstretched arm and not actually have to close my fingers around it at all. That's very, very well balanced. That's about perfect. That means if I am going for the big stretches, I can hold it cradled on my fingers and then when I get a tape, then I can use the muscles, do the hard work and set the hook. But you don't want to be white knuckling a rod like that all day because it's very, very painful after a while. The other thing I look for out of a fly reel when I'm fishing the French leader is I want something with a reactive drag system. Now, first off, I like the fact this has got a drag system. I've tried fishing the French leader with click check reels and click and pull reels before. And while they're absolutely fine and they're nice and lightweight, what I found after a while was that actually, if you hooked a big fish, because you direct onto the reel with the French leader uh, rather than retrieving line like you would a fly line, if you hook a big fish, that first few, four or five seconds can be an absolute nightmare because you've got very little control. So the fact this has got a drag system is perfect whether or not that drag system is going to be responsive enough to control a fish early on in the fight when it's at its most powerful i'm hoping we're about to find out so i'll jump over here and we'll see if we can find a nice big grading to put this reel to the test Probably not the most delicate piece of striking I've ever done. Again, little grayling on that orange bead. They like that one. There he goes. Big test for the drag system on the new reel. Seems to have done all right. There's a fish. That's a grayling. That's a grayling. Better fish. Right, I'm just going to turn that drag down. Grayling fight is slightly different to a, to a trout fight. So I want that drag to be, I've turned it the wrong way, I've turned it up. Ooh. Right, that's the drag as far down as it'll go. 
So this should be really protecting the tippet. I'm only on two and a half pound tippet here, so I need all the protection I can get from that drag system. It feels like a grayling. It's got that wriggling and writhing about it, but it's also got quite a lot of power. Nice grayling. Get in that net. So that was great, that was a real active test. You know, I spoke earlier about how I like a, a French leader to have a, a delicate enough drag system to be able to absorb the lunges and knocks and all the wriggles and stuff of a fish. And a big grayling will always put that to the test because while they're a lovely fish to fish for, playing a big grayling is always terrifying. You can feel them tumbling and rushing and it dealt with it fine, absolutely fine. Again, user error, I turned the knob the wrong way around, but other than that, absolutely perfect. Righty, so we'll try and give this guy a little bit of a lift. Come on buddy, you guys know what it's like holding grayling. Absolute nightmare. Big silver bars of soap. There he is. And we'll slip him back. I think that's another grayling. Oh, just dial down that drag again. I think that's another grayling. Ah, no. Oh, it's, a, it's a foul hook brownie, that's what it is. He's all wrapped up. I think he's fouled anyway. Is there anything? Nothing in his mouth, so. Uh, no, I tell like the red tag's in his mouth. So he was caught legit, it's just the wrong time of year. Come on, enough of that. Straight back with it. No messing. Oh, that water's cold. Whoa. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. What have we got here? Ooh. Oh, dial that drag down. Oh, that's up. I've done it again. So at the moment I've got the drag on the reel set right down to as low as it'll go and it's still actually got a reason, yeah it's another one of those rainbows, I thought that might be the case. We've still got a reasonable amount of resistance, so I might just give this fish a little bit more stick. I've just given it half a dozen clicks, more drag. Of course, I'm going to test this 10 foot 2 weight, that's for sure. Where are you going buddy? Right, I need to flip this the other way because he's made a beeline for those trees. This is where that drag system comes in really useful, makes it so much easier. I can rely on the clutch to stop that fish, all I've got to do is change the angles. For me that's an absolute game changer, I'd far rather do this than fish with a reel without a drag. Again, so far in the fight, reel's coping with, coping with everything this fish can throw at it and it's another strong lively fish. Obviously what I don't know is if the, um, if the rest of the reels in the range, the 5, 6, the 7, 8 or the 9, 10 have the same drag system or whether they'll have um, drag systems powered relative to the size of the reel. So I would say that the drag system on here is way too much for a 3, 4. It really doesn't need to be this strong. But I think for, the, for those of you fishing reservoirs or maybe even the 9, 10 size for the salmon anglers, actually that drag system could be ex exactly what you're looking for. Here he comes. There he goes. Come on. All right. Here you coming? In you come. There we go. It's made a right mess of the tippet material. But. Another one in the net. So again, not the target species, but again, really good test for the, really good test for the reel and it coped with it absolutely fine. It's a lovely looking fish, great condition. Back you go. We'll see you again in the summer. Ah, well, that was fantastic. I think that, um, I think that that's been a really good test of the reel and actually, 
I think I've been really surprised by how well it's dealt with it. I think what I want to do now is we'll jump out and I just want to go through with you what my thoughts are about the reel having fished for it for a good three hours today. Oh well that went pretty well. Uh, two different methods, a few fish caught, a couple of big rainbows to test out the drag system. All in all, not a bad few hours but obviously today was all about this. The go to a three to four size reel and that's what we're going to talk about now. Is this reel worth it? So you have to remember here, we're talking about a reel that has cost me £17, one seven, and I think six quid postage. And it took a week to arrive, I was absolutely astonished. I'll be honest with you, I'm shocked at the quality of this reel. It looks, feels and performs like a mid-range branded reel. The machining appears very good, there's no obvious burrs, there's no sharp bits. The size is sensible, it feels solid, there's nothing rattling around. All the fittings are very good, the reel seat seems to be on there very firmly, the handle is nice and smooth, if a little bit small for my liking. It's counterbalanced, nice and wide across the arbour. I mean, geez, what more could you want? If I was going to be a little bit picky, I'd say that I feel like the drag system has a little bit more startup inertia than some of the reels I've fished with. I found there on the French leader that I was having to dial it up for the strike and then turn it back down to play fish with. Whereas some of the other reels that I've used, particularly the one that I use on the French leader the most often, you don't have to do that. I can trust it a little bit more. This is astonishing value for money. A three to four weight reel, fully machined, good quality aluminium, everything you'd expect from a branded reel. For 23 pounds all in, it really is unbelievable. I'm, I'm staggered that this reel even exists. So after all this, you'd think that I'd tell everyone to, for goodness sake, get on wish, buy yourself a go to a three to four. And actually, please don't. Unless you've got absolutely no money spare and this is the only fly reel you could possibly afford to buy, please don't all flock to wish and buy these reels. And you might be wondering why. And a bit of my background, I've worked in a lot of fish and tackle shops in different parts of the country, in fact, different parts of the world. There isn't a reel on the market available for the money that could compete with this. There isn't. It's as simple as that. This is the best £20 fly reel on the planet, bar none. But for goodness sake, please don't buy it. Because if we all start buying 20 quid wish fly fishing reels off of wish.com, your local fly shop's going to go out of business pretty darn quickly. So for goodness sake, if you've got the cash to buy one of these reels or something similar from your local fly shop, please do that instead. It's a fantastic reel. It'll be great for anyone who wants to do a bit of river fly fishing, but please remember to support your local shop because it's so important. You'll miss them when they're gone and they're going very, very quickly. The wish reel is great, but the advice and the help you'll get from your local shop is far more important. So please bear that in mind. So on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. As I say, fantastic reel, amazing quality, ridiculous price. Uh, if you wanna buy one from Wish, you know where they are please go down to your local tackle shop and see if they've got something similar. If you like the Wish reviews and you want IB and I to do a few more of these, please let us know. I think it's something that is going to creep into fishing more and more. And the buying process has changed, so people are going direct, factories are offering direct. And I think that in the next decade or so, there could be a bit of a change here. IB and I keep an eye on stuff like this. If you want us to do a few more Wish reviews, please let us know in the comment section below, because we love to hear from you guys and we want to make the videos that you want. So all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up in the area below where the thumb up is. We really appreciate that stuff. Leave us a comment. As I say, if you want to see more of these, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of this. Let us know if you found any products that you want us to review from Wish and we'll have a look at them. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. We're getting so close to a thousand subs now. It's absolutely amazing. We never thought when we started this that we'd get any subs, let alone have a thousand people actually want to watch these videos. So that's such a compliment. We're really flattered. We're nearly at a thousand. Please help us out on that one. And don't forget to ring the little bell because that way you'll get notifications when we upload more of these things. Thank you very much for watching this one. We'll see you again very, very soon. Tight lines and take care.